Our next guest is an Arizona state senator who last month revealed to her colleagues on the state chamber's floor her very personal decision to have an abortion. Eva Birch said the procedure was the safest and most appropriate option for her after learning her pregnancy was not viable, meaning the fetus had no chance of living. And it was a pregnancy that she very much wanted. Here's what she had to say after yesterday's ruling. Somebody gave me a procedure so that I wouldn't have to experience another miscarriage, the pain, the mess, the discomfort. And now we're talking about whether or not we should put that doctor in jail. Arizona State Senator Ava Birch is with us now. And I do wanna talk uh, about the politics with you, but it's personal for you, not the least as well, that you're also a nurse practitioner and this was a difficult process for you, as you put it, a pregnancy you very much wanted failing. I wonder if that had happened a month from now for you, what would you have done instead? Well, it's really hard to say. We're very much in flux right now, and, and none of us can know with any amount of certainty what it's going to be like in Arizona a month from now. What, what we do know is that two years ago, when Roe was overturned, abortion clinics shut down all across the state. And I had had a very similar situation happen at that time where I had a pregnancy that failed. This is the second time that I've had a procedural abortion because of a failed pregnancy. And it was only two weeks before Roe went down that I had that procedure. Had it happened, two weeks later then, I would have had to go out of state. That would have been the only option available to me. The, the attorney general here won't prosecute violators. That, that's been made clear. However, Planned Parenthood in Arizona is going to stop abortion services once this old law goes into effect here in 13 days uh, because there could be future ramifications or local ramifications. Can Arizona lawmakers do anything to stop it from going into effect? They absolutely can. Not only can they now, but they should have quite some time ago. This has been available to us. That We've been in session for months. We could have repealed this ban at any point in time, which really puts a little bit of a spin on it as we're seeing some of these Republican legislators backpedaling now, saying that they don't think this is a good idea. They could have done something about this a long time ago. When abortion clinics shut down all across the state of Arizona, they should have done something about it then. We have known that this ban is on the books. It's been well understood, and it's been supported by a number of our Republican legislators openly. They're not even hiding it. So. Uh, uh, well, I understand that, yes, there are things we can do. We also have to acknowledge the fact that there are things we already should have done. So, some of them supported it, and now they don't. I wonder what you think about some of your Republican colleagues who are now reversing themselves. I think that it is a transparent, politically expedient act of desperation that they have realized that there are political consequences to their actions. But um, I really don't trust them. I don't believe them. I think that they are lying. And, and the reason that I think that is because we have all the evidence that we need to, to, to know that they are going to continue to chip away and erode at these rights. They have been chipping away at reproductive health care for years in Arizona. We can look at their voting records and we know where they stand. We can look at their statements in the past and we know where they stand. So if they want to play hero now and and try to fix this problem now that it's become really a politically volatile situation for them, um, that's fine, but there's no reliability that that's going to stand. It's the people of Arizona who have to do something about this in November. The 15-week ban hinged on Roe, which obviously is now defunct. Uh, that's why the Arizona Supreme Court said abortion law in the state now snaps back to this 1864 era ban. Former President Trump, who's responsible for appointing the Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe, said this today about the Arizona decision when he was asked if the court went too far. Let's listen. So he said there, it's, it's kind of tough to hear. He said the court went too far and that the Arizona governor, who of course is a Democrat, Katie Hobbs, will bring it to reason. Uh, what is your reaction to that? When you are the cause of the problem, you don't get to, to come back 
and say that now the Democrats should clean up your mess. So, of course, I'm not surprised that that's what we're hearing. But I know that in the future, they're going to continue again to chip away at these rights. So I, I really think that it's the same scenario that we're looking at with these legislators in Arizona. They're backpedaling now because of the consequences, not because they understand that what they have done is wrong. Nobody is taking accountability for the fact that this is their mess. They are the ones who got us here in the first place. And we have to hold them accountable to that. You can't just say, oh, well, this was wrong. Let's fix it. You have to say, what I did was wrong. I made a mistake. How do we fix this? And that's not what's happening. There's no accountability right now at the state level or from the pres presidency or from the former president, rather. Um, you know, we really have to, to hold the people who got us here accountable for what they did. Obviously, a lot in flux in, in Arizona, and we appreciate you taking some time to speak with us today. Arizona State Senator Ava Birch, thank you. Thanks for having me.